boondocking, primitive, nomading, vanning or van life, off-grid, dispersed, overlanding, all of these terms describe what is known to most of us as camping. Not always in a traditional campsite, but in a variety of locations that can be used for some sort of overnight stay. But the question is, how do we find these sometimes rare and unique spots? Well, stick around my friends and let's find out. One of the first things we need to do after picking up a new set of wheels and tires from Trailbuilt Off-Road is to go out, hit the trails, and really put those new tires to the test. Now what better way to do that than to load up your vehicle with a bunch of camping gear and go exploring on a new adventure? Some of us already have a pre-planned destination in mind to go camp at, but a majority of us want to travel to some adventurous and unknown remote location. The only problem is we don't always know exactly where they are or what the best way to find them is. So where do we start? Everyone that goes exploring in a new and different location will have their own unique way of finding those routes and destinations. But for me personally, what I found that works best is a combination of websites and mapping systems. And here's what I mean. The first thing I always like to do before we head out on another wilderness adventure and probably one of the best tips I can give you is to search the maps on a desktop or laptop computer first. Yes, phones and tablets have apps that allow you to search a variety of different maps and camping spots, but being able to search on a computer with a decent internet connection first makes it so much easier to find the really cool locations. For example, I like to have the Gaia GPS Maps tab open, Google Maps tab open, iOverlander.com Maps open, Recreation.gov tab open, and a Facebook tab open. By doing this, I can then compare the visuals on the maps and save waypoints and points of interest in the form of a GPX or KML file. After that, I then open up the Gaia Maps app on my phone and make sure to download those map areas for offline use. This way, you don't have to worry about not having cell reception or signal to view the maps. With the tabs open, I can Google search area attractions or points of interest and then search Facebook groups for cool areas that coordinate with them to sort of really get an inside scoop on those specific areas. Instagram can also be a good resource for searching those areas for good quality photos. Plus, I'll cross-reference recreation.gov or iOverlander to get additional dispersed camping information as well to really get that full scope of the areas we'll be traveling to and to find some of those hidden treasures that you may not normally find just by searching on a map. Another tip and trick when you're searching in Gaia Maps is to have the layer visible for MVUM from the United States Forest Service. MVUM is the motor vehicle use map, and it'll show you all the Forest Service roads, although it's best to have the most current version in a physical paper copy form from your local ranger station just to be on the safe side. I'll also toggle on and off the US public lands map and the satellite map to ensure, for one, I'm staying on public property and not veering off into someone's private property, and two, the satellite view will give me additional views of the surrounding terrain so I can visually see things like campsites, buildings, forest areas, and a variety of other geographical items that I wouldn't be able to see without it. Another nice feature with Gaia Maps is that when somebody else saves their recorded track publicly, you now will be able to see that trail or route and most of them will list the camping areas that they stayed at, although it is always best to verify those are legitimate dispersed camping areas and not just somebody that may have stayed at their buddy's cabin or something like that. Which is especially important to plan the camp spots you want to stay at well ahead of time and even pick out at least one or two contingency camp spots just in case there is someone at, well, your originally intended spot or the travel time puts you either way behind or way ahead of schedule and then you're either going to end up driving way past it to the next picked out destination or you're way behind schedule and it's going to be too late at night by the time you'll arrive at that planned camp spot. I don't ever want to feel rushed just to get to a specific spot and would rather bunker down early if we need to. This way we have time to get our campsite all set up and time to prepare a halfway decent meal for the night. So I always like to pick out a few different spots just in case. Between the Gaia Maps and the Google Maps app, they have been all I've needed to find and get to some of those pretty sweet spots. 
And guys, another thing I will say though is that our intentions are not to just flood the really extravagant secret spots with more people as you've probably noticed. I didn't give away any GPS coordinates in today's video, but rather to provide the tools and information for you to use to possibly find those awesome areas that you may not have found previously, which is great. But here's the thing guys, please, please make sure we are being responsible outdoor enthusiasts and adhering to the tread lightly principles of which are leaving the areas camped in or traveled in better than what you found it, minimizing or not using an open fire in highly flammable dry areas, repairing damaged areas when noticed, staying off of privately owned land without permission, staying on designated trails and avoiding sensitive areas like archeological sites, wetlands, muddy trails, and other various spots that just wouldn't make sense to go through. And if you plan on any type of travel that involves a vehicle, then first and foremost, before even going out to hit the trails, hit treadlightly.org forward slash learn and get educated or refresh your mindset on what it means to actually tread lightly. This way, by working together as a community and doing our part, we can preserve these awesome trails and camping areas for generations to come. So in short, and to recap, first things first, grab your new wheels and tires from Troubled Off-Road, and with free mounting, free balancing, and free shipping to any state in the lower 48, why wouldn't you? Second, jump on your computer and search Gaia GPS Maps, Google Maps, and recreation.gov, ioverlander.com, Facebook groups, etc., to plan your routes and stays. Then before you leave for your adventure, check out the Tread Lightly website. Then make sure you have your map areas downloaded on your mobile device and enjoy your overlanding adventure. Also guys, this is just a way that I search and plan our trips, but what we'd love to hear from all of you is, what resources do you use? Do you have any suggestions as to which mapping platform is more user friendly than the other? Definitely make sure and let us know in the comments below. Other than that guys, as always, we appreciate all of you for watching and all of your support. I'm Josh from Trobolt and we'll see you guys out in the trails.